What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Aged Out Reacts with the two hosts of the Aged Out Podcast, Mike Fantini and Evan Worrell. And today we're doing two videos or two groups, more than two videos. We're doing like four super short videos of two groups that people have requested multiple times. One of them is in the DCA vein and one of them is one of the groups that we marched. But before we reveal what those are, make sure you hit subscribe on the YouTube channel. Leave a comment and let us know uh, what you think about our opinions and reactions to this stuff. Any recommendations you, you might have, just drop them down there. We appreciate all the suggestions. We've been putting a short list together of stuff that is, as people have been rolling those suggestions in the comments, helps the algorithm, gives us ideas. We appreciate all of it. Check out the podcast on podcast services, anywhere, all the major ones, you know, you know the deal, Google, Apple, Spotify, blah, blah, blah. Uh, check out Patreon if you want to support us with even just a dollar a month. Helps us put, get camera equipment, upgrade the upgrade the channel. Check out LoneStarPercussion.com. Use the code AGEDOUT. Save yourself $10 on any order of $50 or more. Everybody wins in that deal. You, Lone Star, us. Take advantage of it. It's a great thing. So getting back to what I said earlier. Well, actually, Evan, you want to? Yeah, start? yeah get, get in game mode here. Ooh. <sighs> Was it foamy? It sounded foamy. It was a little foamy. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. though. So we're doing first Bushwhackers 2019 for that DCA exploration we've been doing for ourselves personally. Got a lot of good feedback from the DCA stuff we did a couple of videos ago. It might have actually been our last one was the DCA Yeah, one. we did the uh, the bucket, the bucks. <laughs> yeah, so did that. We're doing some Bushwhackers this time from 2019. And then we are going to do – people. multiple people have requested we do the shows that – Evan and Evan or I were a part of, so we we did Blue Coats 2012 as like our first test video for this. Daniel, with yeah, Daniel Recoder. So we're gonna do some Crown 09. They were incredibly good. You'll get to see a nice baby face, back. baby faced Evan Worrell in those. So it should be pretty funny. He might have some good stuff to add to it, stories and just insight into what into the book, what changes, all that good stuff. So I think oh, I'm sure. I'm done word vomiting. So you want to uh, start this bushwhack video? It. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Oh, thank you to 6AM Films, uh, and who else was it? One Spencer, sec. somebody. Uh, Sherman1279 is one of the Crown videos, and S Spencer, Spencer Bailey. <laughs> Spencer yeah, oh, one, one of them was Spencer. Okay, Swami, Swanson, yeah. Samsonite. Wow, I was way off. Well, Spencer Bailey, Sherman and some numbers, and 6AM Films. Thank you for the video content. Go check those their, their channels out for other content. And here we go. Those skis yours. Both of them. If somebody gets that movie quote, I'll be thrilled. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Carry film. Mm, classic body. A little Metro Coachella Rondo. Oh man. Woo! Open. Woo! Hand warm. speed change. Buttery. I want that roll again. Hold on. We're already rewinded. Yeah, there. dude. That. that uh... Oh. Ooh. I love the eighth note five lit roll into the freaking triplets. That attack on the singles after the double stop shots wasn't perfect, but. Managing space pretty well, though. Yeah, they are. Very much so. These drums sound good, too. Yep. Are these Tama drums? These? Uh, I think they are Tama. And they play really well, really good rolls. That dug it up wasn't quite in there, but yeah, pretty good cheeses, pretty good cheese and turp. That that gawk was a little thick. All right, here we go, quads. Yeah, tasty, dude. They not like overly yep. ridden. No. Tasteful. My like initial impression of this is that it's written well within like the means of the players. Like I was about to say the same thing. Yep. They probably could all like play harder stuff for sure, but with the same level of clarity and quality, maybe not. So like I feel like they they wrote to the wrote to the like max performance execution capability. And I would say this well. this comes off to me as a group that might if they had a full DCI tour with the same group. They could pro probably, if they achieved this, this well, you know what I mean? Kind of what we said about um, the Bucks last video. Like, with a full tour, 
I think they could have achieved much much higher difficulty of content. And again, we only have a short 90 second content sample so far, so it might get harder. We'll see. But they play that play what they have really well. I think they wrote it appropriately, like you said. Like they play roles really freaking well. Right. Like, yeah, it could have been harder, but. Would you rather have it harder and dirtier or a more consistent, excellent level of clean? I think I would choose the latter. So, Oh, yeah. Clean, clean's the best type. Good control at the edge. Softer dynamic. Good balance from Flatland here. Yep. I want the tempo to bump a little bit. Ah, oh, they're going to do it again. No, they're going to play the same check. Skip ahead a little bit. Let me hear the roll again first, though. And then I'll skip ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> For consistency, let's see, yeah, what, yeah. let's see what we got. Yep. In there again. In there. In there. All right, let's see. Let's fast forward a little bit. Heard all this. Heard all that. We'll hear the quad thing again. It was tasty. Oh, I'm Jesus. Don't crush the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see what they do after this. We'll give this a couple more minutes, and then we'll move on to crown. Uh, tick that first right-hand diddle. That isolated... Uh, how did it drag? Yeah. All right, now get a little more tempo, mm. a little more aggressive. It's a great tap roll. Some of the hand like pressure changes as they went through the beginning of that phrase. They didn't handle it super perfectly, but they locked it in by that tap roll. Here, I'm gonna rewind that real quick, actually. I like this book. Like that's that change right there, and then they have the molar back into the PDDs. Yeah, yeah, locked in by the roll, but I do like the writing too. Like you said a second ago. They play very dynamically too. Like their soft is actually soft, or at least it comes off that way through the video. Huh. Uh, release, yeah. release. Last Gawk one in there, but so yeah. Give me I mean, one like more thirty seconds or something. Let's, all right, let's, let's see what this is. Oh, they, they divided, switch the environment. This feels like a section, uh, section moment. Yep. New environmental demand. Mm, groovy. Mm. It's very tasty. Yeah. Nice little interplay, passing the roll from second Good to second. Segmental writing. Yeah. Ooh. They, that crescendo was really yeah, good. Based. Yeah. I don't know. Those fast singles in there. I like it. That's hard. Those isolated diddles that. Yeah, pick it up, pick it up. Like, that's really hard. It sounded pretty good, Not too. Changing the grip pressure from set to set. Yep. And just handling the space between them well enough and keeping your hands set consistently. <laughs> All right, we're going to end yeah. on. We're going to end on. We're going to end <laughs> that on was, now. No, that was an anticlimactic end. A <laughs> L- little bit. A little bit. But All right, so. <laughs> Let's switch this to Crown 09 now. So yeah, overall, I thought that was good. I mean, the roles were good. Um, the writing was enjoyable. Like the, they played dynamically. Like there was crescendos in there. The soft was soft. The loud was loud. I kept wondering, like, and who knows? We're using a new recording method, so um, we're messing with sound levels here. I was like, do I need to raise the video volume? It's like, no, they're just playing really soft right now. Then it got really loud, so I don't want to blow anybody's yeah. eardrums out. I think um, that I just appreciate that it gave the performers the opportunity to like actually get a high level of clarity throughout um yeah because i feel like learning fi- learning how to play clean consistently is such a vital skill obviously oh of course it's the name of the game obviously all right do you want to start with this crown video we have like three different like minute and a half uh, let's go in clips. order so uh go this one no oh, this one that one that's so this is the opener so this right. is the first thing we played all right here we go let's full screen this we actually started like 10 yards behind the sideline like in the end zone 
Let's see. All right, here we go. This first like 17 sets was a nightmare reset that we did all the <laughs> like time. Across the whole field, wasn't it? Yeah, we were behind the back sideline and we had to play with the pit. So it was like percussion ensemble hell because we it took so much effort to get it to line up front to back because we were so far away from them. Yeah, I, I don't know how you guys did it, but you did it obviously, so... Baby Evan right here. Slicker. God, your all drums were dry. Yeah. So dry. No hiding. The challenging part about this, too, is that the sections, snares, quads, tenders, were actually so spread out on the field. We were like 10 yards apart. Jeez. In our, in our pods. A little young Andy Kim there on the end. Oh my god, those pings. Mm. I feel like nine lids. These are all nine lids. So many notes. So many notes. <laughs> Jesus, dude. For how exposed the tuning is, it's nuts. This sounds as good as it does. Dude. We're just, it was nonstop. The notes on the page are just like black ink. Oh, those heritages. Those heritages were. On the prosper fairy tape, he's like, oh, you're with the Oh, on the finals tape, this part was the first pick of the show. Oh, hold on, not there. Is this tap roll? There. The left hand like tap roll? Middle. Yeah. As, yeah, it's the only thing it's called. Okay. That threw the, <laughs> that threw the drum. I need to take a breath. After that run on sentence for a second, like that that ping through the drum might be one of the most aggressive things I've ever seen. <laughs> like Dude, we played killer ping shots, actually. I that's, am that's not biased. It's like I, that's just a fact. No, it is. Like the ping shots and the exposed snare tuning from this group in snare land at least was just like Think coming up at the end of this is probably one of the most intricate passages I've played in like we were also doing like a snare pinwheel like a diamond rotating around the uh, Sharif in the middle reefer what's up um and then it was just I'll, I'll point it out I'll be like he, I'll say here and we were just doing insane drill and just <laughs> ramming notes all right here we go CMFC. God, the ping. And all the rolls, dude. All right, here it comes. After the trim shot section. Dude, Woo! Jesus. It was just like a, it I was mean, nonstop for like two and a half minutes. <laughs> just, and the drill was not easy. I'll, I, that's so many notes. That's so many notes. And you all were straight running for, I don't, it, it takes a special group of people to pull off that level of note density with, with that difficulty of drill. Like very few drum lines could have had a whole drum line where the entire group, all 19, 18, 20, 17 of them, however many they have, can pull that off with that level of notes while running like that. It's, it's just, kind of funny. I was blissfully ignorant um, while you pull up the next video or next part of the show. Which because one? this one? Um, no, go one more. This one. All right. Yeah, all right. So I, I just didn't understand that it was as hard as it was because I was like, oh, it's just drum corps. It's just what it is. Like, So every day I woke up and I didn't really think of it as being hard until actually my second summer. I was like, oh, that was really hard what we did. <laughs> last I, year it was kind of the same thing i've said it before on our podcast like blue stars and 10 we had really hard drill too and i just i just thought that was drum core like everybody was running like that and that was not the case at all so this chart was a nightmare to march it we we went all over the field it's called sense of maya the piece and actually it ended up being my favorite part of the entire show just because of how like ominous it was and how it came across with the horn line and the front and the guard it was just really, really cool. The whole thing's in, uh, like, it weaves back and forth between 7 or 4-4 four, four and 3-4. So it's in groupings of 7 and 14 with the drill. So, like, there's different direction changes with, like, this starts on your left foot, this starts on your right foot, the direction change. And there's three direct tempo changes, like, throughout the piece. So Yeah, yeah. 
All right, here we go. Round two. So this part was all like at like 170 or something like that. I want to say. So they gave Actually, you a hold on. Two small sidebar. <laughs> at one point, it ended up at like 174, 184, 204 or something like that. I don't know. There were three bumps, but it was slower. The three tempos were all slower. And this summer of 09 was when like swine flu was pretty rampant through DCI and actually very rampant through Crown. I got it and a few others. In the day I came back, I quarantined for like two days on tour. Uh, Crown missed a show. But the day I came back, they had bumped all three tempos for this chart. So I'm like exhausted from being sick. And I was like, this just feels so fast. And they're like, oh, you guys are just slow. And then we asked the dude running the mat. They're like, dude, what's the tempo? And he told us, like, it is faster. They didn't <laughs> even tell us, though. <laughs> That's awesome. Brushwork rakes. Some of us are using the wood rakes, and some people are using the metal ones. Uh, was it too loud, but, uh, all the metal? Yeah, everybody no. using them was just way too loud. So there was the first tempo change. <laughs> All these isolated tags. I like the interplay between the snares and quads. New tempo. Part. Mm. Mm. Just in your face. It's a full got shot, I think, was the one of two in the whole show coming up. It's at the end here. Wait, time out. What was that? Was that a Herta or was that a diddle? It was a, a isolated diddle, like a diddle putter to it, it, like a go back. Oh, okay. It's like a diddle on the right with a putter to tap. In there. That that full guy. Huh. Dude, it came off like a it was just like you could put your whole weight into it as long as you kept your hands loose. Yeah, yeah. Alright, last little crown <laughs> clip, and then we're gonna close this out. There's some more brushwork at the beginning, but the first thing we play, it sounds like two tap drags. Um these heritas and actually there's a dude that walks in front of the camera who like bends over like holy shit um but it's like a that to get it to get it the so it's a tap on the right and then a left hand hair to lead into a right hand hair to lead but it sounds just like straight up tap drags it's pretty sick <laughs> this dude just comes out of nowhere Those. <laughs> Go back. It's like a little roll. Those, that, were the, do it, do it, do it. those are the tightest heritages I've ever heard. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ooh. That roll was good. I always like the interplay of this chart. I like the bass unisons over top everything. There's a really long day crescendo roll here in a minute. And we step off in the middle of it. God, those rolls are so tight. All right, that Ooh. is, you, you just said you stepped off in the middle of a roll. Like, yeah. So like That's if you really go back, hard to do. It was like, th think about the one, two, three, four, step two, and then it just like, kept. <laughs> think about going from stationary, mid roll, like you have your hands set in the sound of a roll, and then just having to to move all your weight at that point from nothing and keep your hands set in the roll. Like it's freaking flawless on the tape too. I swear. That is, that's a very hard thing to do. Go back for, like ten seconds for those that are unaware. At least I think it's hard. I don't know. Sue me. 
There it is. Yeah. Another direct tempo change here. Boom. <laughs> so the guy, one off center to the left at the end of the video, looks down at the end of my line at the end of the video. I'll tell you why. There I am. Very baby faced. 204. So he looked down. Yeah, I saw uh, that. I saw that. He looked down to the right. The reason is uh, we very frequently would go on to the end of that chart, we always practice the tempo change, chat, gung, gung, dum, uh, but we would also typically go on and just play through the end of the chart. But I didn't know if we were stopping there or if we were going to keep going. So I was mentally prepared to do both. <laughs> uh, so I actually played the left hand of the next 204 nine let that came because I was ready to go, but then I realized we were stopping. So, I take the release into that rep. <laughs> I want to. I want to hear that. Actually, I'm going to fast forward the last part of this phrase. I'm just gonna see if I can catch it. It's like, it sounds like a flam. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm ready I, to go. I still didn't catch it. Hold on. Yep. Yep. <laughs> he like looks down his right. He's like, what was that? Uh, uh, that's funny. It's like, well. I thought we were maybe going to go on, so I didn't want to stop playing. No, but yeah. Then I realized we were not going to go on, so I did stop. I would, <laughs> if I was in that situation, I would 100% rather be the one person that like played one extra note at the end than the person that just like stopped marking time and stopped like stopped everything. And every, the whole line just keeps going. Yeah, because the next thing right after that, it was a quarter note triplet. That cha cha uh was a nine let roll at 204 so like if you don't start it you're not exactly. gonna get in good luck getting uh, back in without fucking it up the whole time so and it started off with a paradiddle diddle so it's like Arr. so it's like yeah you have to go yep yep i think you made the right choice so yeah well, i mean whatever yeah i didn't take in the show that's all that matters <laughs> that's what matters man when when you're under the lights that's what matters so everybody thanks for hanging out crown had the tightest heritage in the west in 09 uh, Bushwhackers had some very tasty rolls and tuning in, in this past DCA season in 19. Keep the comments coming. Keep the likes, the shares. Check out Lone Star, the whole spiel from the beginning, the podcast. It's a good time. Give us, keep the suggestions coming. We're, we're making a list whenever anyone suggests anything. And we're just, when we go to record, we're just going through what we've got and say, let's do this and this today. Or let's do just this one or whatever. So. Thanks we'll work, we'll work our way through them. Yeah, and uh, if the audio is a little off on this one, we're working with Discord now instead of Zoom, so we're trying to figure it out, nail it in. We'll, we'll figure it out. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Peace.